Hi folks, welcome to MTS. Again, heading up to my local Menards to pick up their latest O-Gauge train set for 2024. I have to acknowledge Menards store pickup service. I ordered the set a couple days ago and had it shipped to my local store. Menards sent an email uh, with a barcode that I was able to use to scan and access their pickup location. After parking in one of their highlighted pickup zones, I was able to meet up with their, one of their associates. Within minutes, I had my new set and started my way back home. Today, we are going to unbox uh, Menard's latest O-Gauge train set. This is the Tulsa Tank Train and just released about a week or so ago. So here we go, folks. Looky here. Tulsa Tank Train, or what I'm going to call the most affordable Santa Fe F3 black bonnet set ever. We haven't seen a black bonnet set paint scheme in years. I think the l latest black bonnet set was from K-Line. Um, so when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. This is great. I mean, look at this set. Imagine setting this up under the Christmas tree this year. This is just awesome. So we have the train set. I also opted for their matching Santa Fe bay window caboose. There we go. Uh, this features illuminated interior and has the flashing LED lights in the back. Uh, one thing I am amazed of uh, is with Menard's rolling stock. Um, on how much they are able to utilize uh, all the detail, right? So this has the uh, roller bearing effect on the trucks, uh, has the operating knuckle couplers. Uh, it's just going to look amazing behind the train set. We're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited uh, to get this set on the layout. Yep, I'm actually going to run... Uh, Run it on my layout, folks. Uh, not going to set up the track that comes with the set. Uh, it does include the three rail tubular track loop uh, with a power supply. However, I'm just really excited uh, to get this train itself on the layout and run a few laps. We're going to go ahead and unbox uh, and see what we have. Uh, I really love the artwork on this box, it's really amazing. Uh, the box has all the information about the set, uh, has the remote control uh, that lights up. I'm going to flip it around. And it's got all the information that you need on the back of it as far as operating the train itself. Uh, all the instructions. Uh, so this is just, I'm, I'm always impressed, uh, especially with the packaging. I'm anxious to get this on the layout and see what we got. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so um, we've got some tape. I'm just going to take my razor blade knife here. We're going to cut along there. Got a couple pieces of tape on the bottom. Actually, just one. Got one piece of tape on this side over here. And I'm sure we have another one on this side. There we go. Go ahead and lay it down. Make sure you guys are seeing everything okay. Looks good. Here we go. Lift that up. I'll just sit that right there and again you got got that nice foam pad i mean this package is amazing first thing you see when you open it up you zoom in just a little bit here there we go uh let's see we've got uh, a little flyer here as far as signing up for o gauge and ho related emails we have uh, the train set instruction manual. And then we have the, the locomotives. Um, again, comes with the, these uh, freight cars. What, one thing I, I also enjoy about these, so these look like, these are some, just they actually remind me of the Lionel uh, trucks on the, on the tank car. But, uh, I mean, really just an awesome, awesome looking model. Uh, wheels are spinning freely, 
which I've had some issues with that in the past from Menards, but this one, I feel, I feel like this is a solid unit. The, again, the trucks really remind me of, uh, of some Lionel uh, product that I've seen in the past. So, uh, but no, it's, it's, uh, you know, really nice tank cars. Each of them are individually marked. So we have 1303 here. We have 2448. And we have 1467. And that's just, that's, that's unique. I enjoy that, that process. We have our remote control right here. Underneath it is the power adapter, which again, we're not going to use. I'm going to set this up on my layout. Um, so we're just going to set that over here to the side. We have, looks like some spare traction tires. There we go. Of course, we have the dog. <laughs> on the back of the remote, we'll have to get a couple, uh, I think there are AAA batteries. I believe there's three AAA batteries that go into this. Uh, but again, it's a basic format. You have your volume right here on the side. Um, reverse, forward, bell, horn, and talk. Now let's get into the models, the F3 models themselves, because this is what drew, to, drew me to this unit. I like that they actually kind of toned down the the silver, right? So uh, in the past, a lot of that was just all chrome. Uh, they've got a silver base on the bottom here. Still have the chrome look on the bottom, but it, it just blends a whole lot better. Uh, and again, it's that black bonnet setup, which is just awesome, especially for the price point. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I mean, this is just amazing. Look at that. We have our uh, diesel sounds. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. I am just so excited to get these on the layout. I mean, that the detail is exquisite for, again, the price point. I believe it's a $399 is the, is the, uh, the, the base price, right? But I was able to actually get a rebate on this. So it's $350 and I've got a full track layout. I've got an AA unit set up plus three tank cars. Now, again, I had to splurge another $30 for the, for the caboose, but I think it's just going to all come together. I mean, look at this, look how great that looks. I mean, that's going to be awesome. It really, I think it's going to really tie all together. Really looking forward to getting this on the layout. Now, setting these up on the layout, one thing I did notice, and I'll show you right away. Uh, number one, I, I like the response as far as the the way that the couplers, I just barely clicked that, opened up the coupler, but it had, a, it had an issue, and you can see right there, it, it it's not, you really kind of got to hold those together in order for it to, to clip in place. Um, the other option here is to just kind of lift the coupler up over the top, and there you go. Okay, looking at the caboose, I just unpackaged it. Uh, a lot of excess wires here. Uh, I'm going to push the uh, excess back into the frame. Uh, wheels are rolling freely, and I uh, feel pretty good about the roller contact points. Overall, uh, a really good looking model. For the price point, this is great. It's got the, the side, side steps on each side, brake wheel, got the ladders on the front and the back. We've got the LED lights, which we'll see those in action here shortly. Uh, and again, that extra level of detail where the roller bearings are actually turning. That's just awesome. So we're getting it all put together here. All right, folks, so we're getting it all together. Uh, have the remote with the dog. <laughs> they, they changed the sticker on it. I, I had actually purchased the, um, uh, the first line, uh, Menard set they had last year. Um, and it just had a little paper sticker. And one, one thing that's different about this one, it's got like a raised puffy sticker. <laughs> kind of neat. Uh, here we go. We're going to, um, um, again, I believe it's just three, three, uh, triple A batteries. And I just dropped one of them. There we go. 
we'll put the cover back in place. Let's tighten down the screw again. Quick little test. Oh, it's already on. So there's the off. And there we have it on. All right, folks. We're going to uh, get some power to the layout and get this fired up. I'm really excited about getting this one going. Okay, we're all set up on the layout. Uh, let's get it some power. I'm just going to put about 12 volts to it. And nothing's happening. <laughs> but I know it's got power. Tulsa Tower to 9360 North. Okay, so we have power. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, if you zoom in on the light boards, you can see there's there's light, but boy, that's faint. Okay. So I, I, I am just really enjoying the color scheme on this. It's amazing. Let's give it a horn. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in forward. Um, I thought I turned the, the diesel sounds on, which I would have thought that would have turned on when we gave it a power, but that's not happening. So let's give it. This thing is smooth as silk. Um, what I'm not enjoying is that I thought I had turned the diesel sounds on. Maybe I turned it off. Boy, look at that. That just looks amazing, though. Okay. Okay, so I've got the uh, unit back over here. We're going to lift that up. Oh, I turned them off. So... <laughs> <laughs> so when the uh, when it arrives, oh look, there we go. It's it's already ready to go. So okay, that makes me feel a lot better. I mean, that's that's a really quality. I mean, again for the price point, very very pleased. Let's walk you around here real quick. Look at that. I mean, that's just awesome. Now, I wonder, does it have reverse? Uh, I'm wondering if it has, like, uh, directional lighting. So let's put it in reverse and see if the lights come on this end. No? Nope. Okay. That's okay, though. It's, it does have a reverse light in the, back of the, uh, in the back of the main unit. So the dummy is literally a dummy. Okay. Uh, really sensitive on the throttle. But no, as far as the rest of it, I mean, it, it's super smooth. I mean, again, this, I'm, <laughs> I'm very impressed. All right. Let's get it, take it a few uh, laps around the layout. Okay, it does the bell doesn't run while everything else is running. That's good to know.
to your train. Folks, I am very impressed with this unit, uh, with this whole set. I'm definitely this one's this one's going to be a, a fixture in my collection just because of the black bonnet paint scheme. I mean, you know, for the price that I have in this, the black bonnet paint schemes are generally going between six hundred, seven hundred, sometimes even eight hundred dollars, depending on the make and the model, for. $350 with the three tank cars, it's a no-brainer. Uh, again, I opted for the caboose. I'm glad I opted for the caboose. It just brings this whole train together. Uh, really excited about it. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the, in the in below. And uh, yeah, I, I think Menards has a really solid runner here. Uh, again, super smooth. Um, the amount of talk <laughs> is really impressive. I, I've gone through all the different buttons. There's probably about, I'm going to say, between 30 and 40 different sets of crew dialogue uh, that's happening while you're running the locomotive. Again, I've, I've been running this now for about 20 minutes, and I'm just, it's, it's an amazing set. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the line.